hello everyone and welcome to this build video um i'm not doing it as a complete speed build i'm doing it as a more more or less a tour video um so this first part that you're seeing is me creating the shell of the build it is the letter c because this is an alphabet collab and um be sure to check out the other builds in the description below there are 25 other ones besides mine everybody did a letter and um so after this speed build part is done it's just me doing the shell and a little bit of the exterior decorating um i will be back and we will do a tour of the inside Okay, so after that, um, as you can see, it is in the shape of a letter C, um, just a basic roof. I was going to put stuff up there, but decided not to, um, so it's just, it just looks like that. Um, okay, so um, this is probably like my third time trying to record this tour, but um, yeah, me and OBS were having a fight. OBS is winning by a long shot at this point. 
so I'm going to give this another shot and hope that um, it records properly. It's just my frames aren't being recorded like they are supposed to be and it's just it's driving me crazy. I have gone back and re-downloaded the OBS from about four updates ago. So hopefully that one will work for me. I guess we will find out. Um, also, sorry if you hear any dogs or chewing or anything in the background. Um, we do have a new puppy and she is not used to me sitting in here talking to myself. Um, the other one is sunning in my bedroom window, so there's that. Um, so this is pretty much where the sea is, like it starts there, wraps all the way around and ends here, but this right here is the front door. And that's where we're going to go in at. Um, so it's, I'm kind of, my sim's not that tall. Um, this is the entryway. Um, I didn't put any curtains up. Here we just have a coat rack and the umbrella stand. I love these windows from Seasons. Um, yeah, they're like my favorite windows from Seasons. And then over here, we just have this coat rack, um, a table, and hold on, I hear my dog whining, but I can't find her. Wait, she's at my foot. Okay. I love this table partially empty for like some photos or whatever, um, you know, to make it more personal. And then you have the little cats and dogs vacuum, a closet. Um, this little area stayed empty for a long time because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put there. But in the end, um, I ended up putting this fish tank, fish aquarium from Spa Day and some bookcases. Okay, she wants to get on the bed, so let me go do that. Okay, my other dog is just looking at her like, Mom's just talking to herself. Um, you'll get used to it. Um, but I thought a upright piano would look good right here, but of course we don't have an upright piano, so I couldn't put one. I know there are some those CC ones on the gallery, but I just didn't want to deal with that, so I just put that there instead. Um, and here is just a little powder room, half bath area. Uh, for guests and also to use when you're in this side of the house because the regular bathrooms are further away. Um, this is the living room area and um, it's really simple. Not much there. And then over here we have the kitchen. Um, we have the bar stool area for like quick meals. Um, She's trying to lay next to my other dog because she absolutely adores him, but he keeps growling at her because he wants to be left alone. So, yeah. Um, anyway, parcel area for quick meals. And um, I do use a lot of No CC art. It's mainly from Fruit Loops 40. Um, I use a lot of their C No CC art in my builds. Okay, then we have like a little coffee bar area with the little cake with plates and the debug knife to cut it with. Uh, we have that little shelving basket area that's really cool. Um, and then we have the kitchen, which is, um, you know, double sinks, dishwasher, stove, you know, the basics. And then over here we have the dining room and um, it's really simple. I did that on purpose. I forgot to put a trash can in here. That's what I forgot. Um, I will be adding a trash can right over there next to that counter um, when this tour is over. Um, I'm also using this tour to see what else I need to fix. So, um, so this is the laundry room and um, I do have some stuff from Bust the Dust Kit, but really you don't need it. It's just 
mainly for decor because I don't even turn on the dust in my game. I just like to have the little vacuums sitting around in laundry room areas and stuff because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Um, I need to fix that box as well. But yeah, here's a really simple laundry room. Um, and actually, this and all the way to the right is a hallway um, with the rooms coming off of it. I left main, the main living areas with no curtains so that, you know, light can come in and stuff like this, like that. This is a teenager room um, set up really simple and everything so this house is set up for either a sim couple with a teenager or a single sim with a teenager but um kept the room pretty simple in here and this door is the bathroom that's connected to the teen room we have the bath shower combo the sink the clothes basket of course um we have the closet and the toilet area and that's all that's in there and let's see I have to kind of twist because of the way my mouse was and this room is the teenagers streamer area um, with my favorite mirror ever from werewolves Um, and then this area is kind of like behind them, so yeah, um, just really simple little room. Then we have uh, this on this wall, and that's about it. Um, then we come down this way, and we have this door, which is another little powder room half bath area, um, and I will show you in a little while why we needed that down on this end of the house. And um, one of the sims in this home is a crafter. So we have this cute little craft room where they do their knitting. And um, you got a little chair to sit in to knit in. And your tri um, easel, I can't really say tripod, but technically it is a tripod easel, but um, easel for painting. And then we have this little area. You could even add in a cross stitch basket from the cottage living pack, but I did not. I just have the knitting one. Um, you could put shelves on the wall and put knitted things up there, hang up your cross stitching, your paintings, whatever. I just... I like to leave a lot of it empty so that it can be personalized like all of the hallway space is empty and I did that so you could hang up like family photos or paintings or whatever to make it more of personalized for your sim instead of you know just generic this is the door that goes into the main bedroom which is done really simple um not much really to see and we have the uh closet in here a tv and you know just the basic stuff and then this is probably one of my favorite bathrooms i've ever made um i usually try not to do big bathrooms but i did it for this one and we have the walk-in shower there um we have the extra towel and supply shelving unit. We have the tub here. Um, one of my favorite things is to put a light above the tub, especially like a fancy looking light. Um, and then we have the double sink area with shelving. Um, so we do have that. And then in this door right here is the private toilet so that you know that's really all literally all that's in here is just the toilet um so you know two sims can be in the bathroom at once and not be freaked out 
And then uh, we are at the end of the house now, actually. And this is like a bar area slash game room. Um, we have like jerseys on the wall. You know, it's kind of like a hangout area. Invite your friends over, have a drink, play some table tennis, have a conversation. You know, simple stuff like that. And that's why I created that half bath. Or when you're in this room so that you don't have to actually leave out of the house which is where this door goes and then walk back into the front door to go to that bathroom you could just go down the hallway um so and then we have the backyard area which i also did very simple i went very simple with this this build instead of you know a lot of clutter and stuff um i created a little barbecue area here um the grill is from the Lux Desert, Desert Lux kit or whatever it's called. Um, so you could actually substitute that for any other type of grill. Um, there's a base game one that would fit there. I just like that because it gives the image of you know having a little fridge and the trash can and stuff like that. It gives it a nice little image which I wish was usable. Then I have this little seating area with the fireplace um, coffee table that comes with city living. I love this for outdoor areas. It makes it look so nice when it's lit and um, all of that. And then we have a picnic table area over here. It's kind of covered, but kind of not technically. Um, it just looks really cute there. So that is my simple house. That's my little sim that's living here right now. Um, so I will have to go in and fix, you know, put the trash can and fix that area where the basket is not sitting on the shelf. Um, so anyway um i really do hope you enjoyed this build it's really not something that i would probably use just because that it's built like a c but i love some of the design ideas and i would probably put them into another you know normal looking home that i would use for my sims and um i normally try to limit my packs but this time I didn't because I just wanted it to look like a nice believable little home and that required me to use a lot of different types of packs because of different little clutter items such as this hair dryer and basket clutter is actually from parenthood and the little nail clutter is from um spa day and then i have a lot of high school year stuff in here um you know just to make it look like a cute little teen room that's you know they're still holding a little bit of their youth but not a whole lot of it and then you know they're also a streamer and they have their little streamer area and i tried to keep it in a basic color scheme of liking the purple and the pink so um I definitely wish that the new clutter kit coming out had a little bit more clutter to it because we are in desperate need of clutter I use the same clutter items all the time it seems like and um I normally don't even put carpet down in my houses but this time I used a lot of carpeting especially in like the bedrooms I know I did it in the teen room and the uh, streamer room in that room but I think the rest of the house is hardwood um, so yeah hopefully OBS is cooperating with me today and is recording this properly because I would love to get back into recording a lot of my stuff um, so all of a sudden it just it records it doesn't record all of my frames and it's really really getting annoying to me but hopefully it is working properly now and 
all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and like my content, please hit the subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!